Today we're going to show you how to export your images perfectly for print and for the web. All right. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're showing you how to export all your images so they display perfectly whether you're going to put them on a website, social media, or you're going to print them out. Let's jump in to Photoshop. So we're starting with our image here. Let's say we want to make a couple little alterations. We're going to go ahead and grab the brand new selection brush tool and let's go ahead and paint a couple selections over top of our image. I just basically want to get rid of some of these distractions. We got some footprints in the sand, things like that. We're just going to clean our image up and get it ready for print or for the web. All right, so we went ahead and painted all that in. Looks good. Let's click on generative fill. We don't need to type anything. We're just gonna click on generate. And here you're gonna see it's using AI to just clean all of that stuff up. Really nice, simple transition. Of course, we have a few variations. That one looks pretty good. Now we can actually do this again if we wanted to. Let's say your client was like, oh, let's see if the wedding dress can be, you know, like bigger and more flowy. And, you know, maybe we wanted to kind of look like it's just a little bit larger and interacting with the sand. So let's type in generative fill there and I'm gonna type in wedding dress. Why not? This is just fun stuff. It doesn't take too long at all. Okay, so our wedding dress is now gonna get a little bit longer. Ooh, look at that nice flowy wedding dress. Which one do you like? I think that this one, that one looks pretty great. Okay, so our wedding dress is looking pretty good and you can see we have a couple of different layers and now it's time to save this out. So the first thing we're gonna do is just show you how to save this out for the web. I'm not gonna resize it. We're not gonna do anything more to the image. We just wanna make sure it saves perfectly for the web. So here's what you wanna do. Go up here to file and then down here to export and we're gonna go to export as. Export as is what you wanna do. Now here where it says format up on the very top right, you can see it's taking just a second. You wanna make sure you click on JPEG. JPEG is gonna be the best format for the web. Now your quality right about there looks pretty good at six. Here is kind of the most important thing. Here where it says color space, convert to sRGB and embed color profile. That is extremely important sRGB is what the web uses to read colors in your images. So if you've ever exported images and the colors were off, chances are it wasn't in sRGB. So as long as you're using the export as dialog in Photoshop and this icon is checked, it's going to look perfect just like this. Now here you can definitely change the size of this. Maybe this is just gonna go on social media. Maybe you wanna make it a little bit smaller. You can change the sizing here. There we go. And here you're going to see it's going to export as. Now the other cool thing you can do here is you can actually go ahead and and add one of these. Like if you wanna do a 0.5X, there we go, you can add that, fantastic. And a 1X, you can add that as well. So this is actually going to add a few of these different sizes. This'll be a full size at 1X, okay? This is gonna be a half size at 0.5X, and we can do a 0.75X at, and it's gonna add this to the name. So it's basically gonna export all three of these images at the same time. Let's go ahead and click on export here and we're just gonna put this in this tutorial. By the way, you can download the sample image so you can follow along. All right, we're just gonna go here to our download and our sample images. Let's click on open and it's gonna export all three of those out. So let's go ahead and go into our finder and here we can see it did. Export web .jpeg. look at that, export web at 0.5x and you can see it's half size and 0.75x it's 0.75x so a really great way to export a few different versions out for the web now if you want to export this out for print the first thing you want, want to do is make sure it's in the proper aspect ratio for print so let's click on our crop tool you can hit c for the crop tool or just go right over here to the crop tool and here where you see ratio, this is where you're gonna to wanna to type in the ratio of your print. Let's say you're gonna do a four by five print. Also, it's the same aspect ratio for an eight by 10. Let's go ahead and click on that. You're gonna now see the crop shield is gonna change to the four by five aspect ratio. So let's go ahead and put it right down there. Keep in mind, check this out. This is actually really cool. I went ahead and brought it down over here, but here on the bottom, we actually don't even have any information there. Check this out up at the very top. Make sure you uncheck delete crops pixel so it doesn't delete anything. You wanna make sure it keeps all the information. And up here where it says fill, click on generative expand. And that will actually add that information down there. So I'm cropping this, it's gonna be a four by five. Also it's suitable for an eight by 10, 
but it's gonna crop this and it's gonna add this at the bottom. Just hit this checkbox right up here at the very top. This is using AI to generate this and there we go. We're gonna get the proper crop, fantastic. And it's gonna add information on the bottom. So you can see literally it just added all that information on the bottom and we are in a perfect four by five aspect ratio. Now, let's say you wanna go and do a five by seven print. Boom, click on five by seven. And then what I would suggest here is just hold alt or option and just drag this out a little bit. Why not? You can even expand the borders of that. That's totally okay. Just click on that checkbox and you are good to go. So this is gonna be perfect for a five by seven. All right, let's go ahead and see how this looks. Fantastic, so this is our five by seven. Let's go ahead and export this out. So we'll go to file, we'll export, boop, and then export as. Fantastic, our format's gonna be JPEG. Okay, we're gonna print this so our quality wanna be nice and high. Let's put that all the way to seven. Now your width and your height, you want this to be as large as possible for your prints. That's gonna be really, really important, okay? Large as possible for your prints. And then here at the bottom, again, just make sure it says convert to sRGB in embedded pro color profile. Now I'm gonna put here, I'm gonna put 5x7, okay? Let's put an underscore there. So it's going to be basically the file name and then underscore, this is gonna be a five by seven. You can see the size that it's gonna be and the file size as well. So let's go ahead and click on export here and we're just gonna literally put it in the same place. All right, let's just do, all right, let's put an underscore on there so it saves that out. Okay, and go back into our finder window and here we can see this is export print web five by seven, okay? JPEG, so you can see our file size or the print size is gonna be in the name because we put this in the export dialog and this is gonna be perfect for a five by seven. So again, let's go back here. We'll go back to our ratio. We'll just go to a four by five, okay? There we go. I'm just gonna bring this down, hit enter, and then we'll export this out as well. So we'll go to file, down to export, and then export as, there we go. And we'll just put underscore and I'm gonna put four uh, X five, and we'll put eight X 10. So this can be a four by five or an eight by 10. Keep in mind, we want this width and height to be as large as possible. When we're printing images, the aspect ratio does matter, like four by five, eight by 10, five by seven, but the size of the image, you want it to be as large as possible and the quality, you want it to be as high as possible there as well. Again, just make sure you convert to sRGB. All right, let's go ahead and click on export. Fantastic. We'll export that out and hit save. And then back in our finder window, now we're gonna see this is gonna be for our four by five and our eight by 10. So you can see the aspect ratio as I just look at this right here. As I click on these different images, we have a different aspect ratio for each of those photos. That way we know exactly what we're gonna get when we go to print that out. So extremely, extremely important. Now we're gonna do one more. I wanna just click on here. We're gonna do something crazy. We're gonna do a 16 by nine, okay? And now let's check this out. I can really expand this out because again, we, we have AI helping us out here. So we're gonna do a 16 by nine horizontal and literally all this information on the left, all of this information on the right, it's just gonna add this to the photograph. So just a little heads up, you don't have to have, and you have different variations, you don't have to have all this information to start with if you want it in your final print. Let's say your subject is too close to the top or the bottom or whatever you have, boom. Now we have a 16 by nine image. We'll get file, we're gonna go down to export, we're gonna go to export as, okay? Let's just call this underscore 16 by nine. Again, putting the file aspect ratio in the file name itself. You can see our width is now 8170, perfect. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Click on export, okay, and boom. Hit enter and you're good to go. Back in Finder, we can see now we have all of our different sizes. So we've got our 16 by nine here. You can see our five by seven, four by 10, which is also perfect for eight by 10. Uh, sorry, four by five and eight by 10. And then we have our print for the web at its full quality, half and 0.75%. So those are the settings to get perfect exports every single time, whether you're gonna be putting this on the web, social media, or you're gonna be making a print. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up. Click on that subscribe button if you wanna get more free tutorials and let me know in a comment down below what you'd like to learn next. Thanks again, I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.